five pounds, it's that somebody who cannot speak. <laughs> let's let's maybe try that one again. As usual, fantastic lighting and weird angles. We really need to work on this quality. We need to work on quality. Hi, pals. It's me, Tree. Still having to edit all the video footage. At least it has now made it onto my not my computer. I have and not my iCloud. I have I, I got myself a, a four terabyte external. It's like I have externals, but they are exceedingly old and I kind of worry about them. So I got a brand new one. I mean the, the ones that I have are so old that you they have to have power to run. Yeah, and the LART, one of them is 50 meg, not 50, 500 megabytes, and the other one's one terabyte. That is how old they are. But yeah, it's like at least that footage has made it onto the thing that's like with my computer. So we are a step closer to videos nobody really wants to see. So I thought we would just have a friendly, chatty thing, because, you know... That's what we do. No, it's never really what we do. Trying, trying something new. And it, it, it's, it's a l little bit holly in a really, really not holly way. So the not holly way is that I got myself some of these Pasca paint markers that everybody is losing their collective minds about which is always fun it's always fun to see everybody having a thing about art supplies because it's like yes let's go try a thing new art supplies are are some of the best things ever for me it's like school supplies but i don't have to get graded on anything anymore that's not true <sighs> instead of the schoolroom, it's the court of public opinion oh wow all that school anxiety just came right back also, my cup, it's my, my cookie cat that, um, I, it's up on Redbubble if you need a cup. I am drinking David's tea, um, and it's the blueberry muffin, which sounds like it should be disgusting. It's not. It actually tastes and smells exactly like a blueberry muffin in really good ways. Hashtag not sponsored. Because I have maybe like 10 people who watch this thing. Well, while we're talking, I don't know what we're going to talk about. I am going to um, de encase these because somebody in their infinite wisdom decided that, in addition to everything being in this plastic bag, each and every one of them is wrapped individually. I wish I were kidding. I, I've literally had these for a couple days and haven't tried them out because I couldn't handle, mentally handle the having to unencase every single one of them until today. So some of that inability was the fact that we decided, we decided, yes, there was a public vote and we decided to have a snowpocalypse in April. Snow, snow, mm, it's not a call to snowpocalypse tree. Winter Storm Wilbur came through this week, and we're currently buried under a couple feet of snow, which we had almost gotten rid of all of the snow. I mean, some of it always lingers a little bit because, you know, shadows. Like, we always have a patch that lingers in our front yard. Often until the beginning of May, because we have parts of our yard that do not get any, any sun. Like, I have no idea how anything grows. It does, but <laughs> I don't know how anything grows, but we managed to have a patch of snow. It's super exciting. I'm sure the wildlife is excited, too. The joys in, <laughs> the joys in living in the far north of the United States. I mean, we're not quite as bad as the UP, thankfully, or upper parts of Minnesota, but it's, it's a little... It's a little not right. It's a little ridiculous. Bad thing is, is when I was a kid, I actually wanted to live much further north than I do now. 
because I liked winter. That was before I realized that winter and I do not get on because winter in from where I'm from it's not mild by any sense of the imagination because I'm from the plant from flatlands and the Midwest and things so it's just just goes right by you get drifts and you get ice and it sucks to exist in but it exists in very prescribed amounts of time not here it's like I hadn't seen 30 days of night when I was a kid well because it hadn't come out yet and I don't remember when the graphic novels came out but I I still haven't read 30 days of night but yeah the the I don't think I, I ever quite realized that you could live in a place that didn't see sun like at all which sounds really unintelligent when I say that but I was a kid. I was a kid at the time. And I didn't know what that experience would be like. I don't think anybody does until you live through it. There are times of the year up here where if we have four hours of good sun, we're, we're doing real good. It's usually not that bad, and it's usually only a couple days a year. But it, it, ooh, it it's rough, yo. It is super rough. Again, I'm not kidding. I'm down to the last two. Ugh. It's like an endeavor. Weirdly, random chatty things. I'm, I'm waiting to hear if I get, get accepted for the vendor's room slash artist alley for WizCon, which is this convention in Wisconsin. Ha <laughs> ha, WizCon, Wisconsin. But it's super inclusive and f intersectionally feminist, and it has, like, quiet rooms for people with anxiety, and it's like all really shiny and neat and Kelly Sue DeConnick was at, their la at it last year and I got accepted for last year but it they are really super late about telling people that they've been accepted so I I decided to go with the sure thing of in Minneapolis instead and I, still I'm kicking myself I didn't do Wiscom oh well so I should be hearing soon if I don't hear by the end of the week, I probably need to poke at Allison. But I got approached to be on a panel, which is weird. And it's about comic books. It's about basically like sex positive comic books. And <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I know anything about this when I was talking to the nice person who, who has since started following me on Twitter. And I, that's a little pressure on me. I had sent off this email saying, sure, if I get accepted, I'm not sure I know anything about it, but I have time to, you know, research, because I'm good at research. I was in, an, I was in academia for, like, ever and a couple days. And then I realized, oh, wait a second. It's like, I used to do reviews on things like Sex Criminals and Bitch Planet and The Wicked and the Divine and a myriad of other things that are not only sex pop positive they're body positive and they're intersectional or they try to be as best they can because you know we can collectively try as hard as we want to be intersectional and perfect in our politics and that is more and we will still fail because we're human and we mess up and all we can do is to try harder so that when we fail again we fail better so yeah it's like I have a bunch of stuff that I need to read under the assumption that I'm going to be on this panel at the end of May. Okay. No pressure. No pressure at all. Why, why would there be pressure to talk about sex positive comic books and stuff? Especially when not necessarily a type of comic or manga I read. It's I have no problem with it. It's just not never been a thing that I've been like, oh, let's do the thing. But Evidently, it is a thing because a thing that I do because I really enjoy sex criminals and I really enjoy Bitch Planet and Saga and things and it's I think my brain was doing the oh well it has to be you know just it has to be like completely not safe for work in a, a in a really like questionable way to count it's like no 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 that's not how this is. <sighs> I don't know. It, it was a weird, it's a weird thing. It's going to continue to be a weird thing and get my brain wrapped around that. I probably should poke this nice person who is also non-binary, which is nice. And yeah, I think everybody on this potential pa panel is non-binary. So that could be a thing. See what their thoughts are. 
All right, other part of the hall, and not really a hall, sort of a hall, weird hall. Yeah. For those of you who have met me at cons, this will be an old hat. For those of you who have not met me at cons or really like closely looked at my con photographs because really, why would you? I have a zombie bunny that I made that hangs out on my table. It's on top of my button tower. And I'll put a picture of zombie bunny here so you can see his glorious little face. But his, um, the base of him is made out of, for those of you who are old enough, those flocked plastic bunny banks from the 80s. Like, I remember my brother having one. I didn't I remember my brother having one. I was kind of small in the 80s. I think I had a ceramic one. Not bunny, a ceramic bank. You know, I don't remember. Eh. But I had found it in a thrift store up here in a charity shop. And I thought it was cute and was like, I think I'm going to make a zombie bunny. Because... Evidently, Benicula made an impact on me in really strange ways when I was a kid, as did Monty Python and the Holy Grail, so why not have a zombie bunny? For some reason, it never occurred to me that you could look on the internet and see if people were selling these things. Again, things you just don't think about. And the other day, I had that thought, and was like, oh, well, let's look on eBay. It's probably more likely to be there. I mean, I did look on Etsy, too. Etsy? Etsy? I can say this. I looked at Etsy too, but way more expensive for just like one. And I found somebody selling a lot, like not in a, an amount way, but in a like collective thing way, which means the same thing. It's like when you talk about lot numbers. That That's what kind of lot I mean here. I'm the only one who cares about this. Go on. But I found somebody who was selling a bunch of them together and I won the bid. So I have this entire like cord of flocked fuzzy bunnies that I can turn into zombies if I want. We can have the zombie horde. Gnome thinks I should do like other kinds of monsters too, but I like the idea of the zombie bunnies because they, they maintain their cuteness and they're so like, weird. And for some reason there was a fuzzy chicken and a fuzzy bunny. I don't know. They, they are also flocked. But there's this, the only one that I'm really thinking about maybe not making a zombie is the giant white one. And I'm thinking about turning it into a vanicula. Because I'm a weirdo. But yeah. The, that's an unusual kind of a haul, right? I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to see me like swatch the things. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this video here or this portion of the video here remove things around so that i could do some vi videoing of this watching because this is a thing we do sometimes maybe i'm gonna try and do more of it i i'm i'm considering doing twitch but i have to figure out all the camera setup stuff first and it's like i can do it it's just it requires like space in my brain that i don't always have to sit there and figure all the things out and if I need to get a different camera or if I need to get a different like tripod or rig up something strange because we never have to rig up anything strange not us all right <laughs> I say this as the the tripod that my camera is on because it's one of those like small gorilla ones I mean it's like the foot tall, foot foot and a half tall one it's sitting on top of a candle and a coaster it's sitting to on top of a coaster that's on top of a, a wide candle that's in like one of those like square paper holdy grid mesh container things so that nothing moves and then it's like pushed up against the the shelves that exist on this table quality quality youtubing all right, I am going to do things and edit, edit video. We will edit video today. I still need to do the comic today because I didn't do it yesterday. So do good, be brave, be kind. That was not the right order. So do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.